I was guided in my actions by my interpretation of the Church and the Gospel. The famine had come just in the nick of time. On January 24th, at the St. Trinity Cathedral of Alexander Nevsky Monastery, he was ordained Bishop of Gdovsk, Vicar of St. Petersburg. You may take our sacred relics over my dead body. We obey Rome, not Moscow. Vinyamin enjoyed great authority among the representatives of the Petersburg Catholic clergy as well. We must teach these people a good lesson right now, so that for decades to come, they will not dare to think about resisting. After the October Revolution, Father Konstantin Budkevich remained in Russia and accepted Soviet citizenship. I cannot ask them such a thing. It would be an act of sacrilege on my part. The legal trial began on June 10th, 1922, and took place at the Assembly Palace. The Bolsheviks were actually dull-witted people who thought the church held great riches and treasures. They were not actually concerned with those suffering from the famine. One year after the Petrograd trial ended, the targets were Catholics. The church cannot remain indifferent to the great sufferings of the starving. He was often seen in the most remote and poorest parts of the capital, where he hastened to his first call as if he was a beneficed clergyman in his plain cassock. Vinyamin, in fact, abided by church's canonical structure, and it cost him his life. Right now, we must launch a most resolute and ruthless battle against the clergy and suppress it. Until my last minute, I have abided by the apostolic throne. The persecution of dissenters and infringement of civil rights were commonplace during the Soviet regime. Archbishop Jan Sepliak and Prelate Konstantin Budkievich are sentenced to the most severe penalty, death by shooting. We saw a great many victims, numbering in the thousands among Russian clergymen and active laymen. All of the accused priests have declared in court that they consider for themselves obligatory the decrees of the Pope in the late 20s, it was already quite unusual to encounter a religious young person. Famine, poverty and lawlessness were always features of the Soviet regime. The more representatives of the reactionary clergy and reactionary bourgeoisie we can execute on this occasion, the better. Prelate Konstantin Budkevich was executed in a prison cellar of the state political department at Lyubyanka with a shot to the back of his head. The authorities considered this trial a rehearsal for the future trial against Patriarch Tikhon. From the report of the Central Committee of the Russian Communist Party of Bolsheviks to the 12th Congress. The campaign to seize the wealth of the church has reinvigorated the party's anti-religious propaganda.